So we all know that Yamcha is like the butt of the joke of the Dragon Ball Z anime, and in this video, which is absolutely 100% totally serious and not a joke, I'm actually going to scale Yamcha to perfect cells level. Now we all know that Yamcha is like the guy who gets killed over and over and over by like the weakest villains in the entire series. But in this case, I'm going to show you that everybody's perception of my boy Yamcha is completely wrong, and it's based on this video that I saw on TikTok, which might be the best Yamcha Yamcha scaling video that I've ever seen in my life. I can't believe how great it is. So shout out to this person. She's awesome. And I'm going to reflect everything that she said and just throw it back on all of you. So here we know, again, Yamcha, like the weakest dude in the entire series. Hi. Yamcha's here! <laughs> Yamcha's dead! And a lot of people think he's, you know, nowhere near Frieza's level. <laughs> Well, nowhere near Super Saiyan 1's level. Nowhere near Perfect Cell's level. Okay, well, I'm going to prove you wrong here, buddy. So, Perfect Cell gets killed and goes to Otherworld. And Goku is there as well. And out of nowhere, this other dude named Pycon comes and bodies Perfect Cell. What the? Now... Super Saiyan 2 Gohan just struggled like hell against that exact same perfect cell. And then Pycon comes out of nowhere and seemingly almost one-shots him, Bruh. like punches him so hard. Actually, he like he like half punches him with like the side of his fist. <laughs> and like completely bodies him. Now in this case, um, you wouldn't think very much of it, but later, Yamcha actually dies and goes to Otherworld as well. And while he's there, he's, he's starting to enjoy his training in the afterlife, and he fights a guy named Olibu, as well as somebody else. He's two versus one them, and he's winning, and he ends up bodying them too. Now, here is the scaling. Uh, Yamcha is outscaling Olibu, but Olibu actually had some sparring matches against Pycon, and they were going blow for blow, beat for beat at the time. So here is the scaling. If Yamcha outscales Olibu, and Olibu is roughly on par with Pycon, and Pycon is able to one-shot Perfect Cell without even being powered up, then there you go. There is the scale for Yamcha being on par with Final Form Perfect Cell. So, if only I were there, I'd take Frieza out myself. Isn't that crazy? Okay, sure, it's filler episodes, but it doesn't goddamn matter. It's an actual scaling, and it exists. I can't believe it actually exists. It's been some time since I went back to watch the show, and I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw that Olibu was going blow for blow with Pycon. Pycon again bodied perfect self. So if Olibu and Pycon are roughly on par with each other, and then Yamcha comes and bodies Olibu, then we can we can kind of justify that they're both roughly on par with each other, at, at least in base form. So yeah, sorry butthurt scalers, but it looks like Yamcha actually is on par with Perfect Cell, and might even give him a good run for his money. My god, what a challenge. 